It has been a deadly year on our roadways. Traffic fatalities are up at least 30% statewide compared to last year. Safety advocates are sounding the alarm. They want you to pay attention on the roads and to their message as they work to put an end to this alarming trend. Hector Mejia shows us what you need to know. Hey there, and advocates say it's everyone's responsibility to make sure we make it home safely, not just the drivers. And a group got together here earlier this morning inside University Medical Center. This is where trauma patients get seen after a crash. And it's also Nevada's only pediatric trauma center. UNLV's Vulnerable Road Users Project brought together law enforcement agencies along with doctors to talk about recent traffic fatalities. Monday night, two-year-old Miguel Angel Morales was killed by an SUV while crossing the road in the Northeast Valley. In the five weeks since May 1st, at least 20 people died on our roadways in Clark County. More than half were pedestrians. Motorcyclists, cyclists, and moped riders were also part of the tragedy. And this morning, we also heard from people who see this firsthand almost on a daily basis. While it is very sad to see injured adults and adults that die, you can only imagine what it's like to see children die and to talk with their parents that they have lost their loved one who should have had a normal long life. Every patient I see woke up in the morning and thought it was going to be a normal day. It's very sad to hear and Dr. Deborah Coles is pleading to parents, please restrain your child with a seatbelt or car seat when they're in the car with you. Also, if you're on a bicycle or motorcycle, please remember to wear your helmet. We also heard from Metro's fatal detail team. They said so far this year they've worked on 59 fatalities. That number was 41 last year. Reporting outside UMC, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.